Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up file sharing server for your small company using a graphical interface on your Windows 11. If you haven't watched that video yet, be sure to check it out or else I will give you the link on my video description. And in this video, I will show you guys how to set up a file sharing server using command line means CMD without using any graphical interface. So let's get started. So before you start this video, let me give you a visual representation to help you to understand better. So here is my main machine from where I will share the files and folders. The IP address is 192.168.227.129. Uh, okay. So I will create one group under this uh, a server, file sharing server. And under that group, I will add one user, which is user1. And everything I will do through terminal in CMD. And I will try to access from other PCs on my network uh, to this file sharing server. Okay, I will try to access that file and folder. So here is my main computer from where I will share files and folders. So first I will check my IP address. If I'll open CMD and IP config command. And as you can see, here is my IP, which is 192.168.227.129. Okay, so now what you have to do, you just need to go to your start window and type CMD. Now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. After open command prompt, you just need to type few commands over here. So first I will type net space user. So this command will help you to check all the users on your computer. So currently I have administrator account, which I take uh, test technology accounts. So now what I'll do is I will create one user account uh, to uh, for file sharing server. So the command will be net space user space your username in my case it is user1 maybe in your case it is different and after that space then your password in my case i'll type over here one two three you can set any password over here and after the space then slash add after that press enter now as you can see it is showing like the command completed successfully now i will create one group on the server and I will add that user one to that group. So now if I'll type net space user, and as you can see, now user one is showing, that's mean the user is created successfully. So now I'll type net space local sp group space, the group name, which is group one, then space add space slash add. Okay, so after type this command, if I'll press enter, as you can see, the command completed successfully. That's mean the group uh, created successfully. Group one is created successfully. So now what I'll do is I will add that user one to that uh, group one. Okay, under group one. So now my command will be net space local group, then group one, then username, which is user one space slash add. Okay, after that press enter and as you can see the command completed successfully. Now, so in my computer I have only uh, two drives which is C drive and E drive. So I will create one folder under E drive and I will share that folder with user one. Okay, so now I will directly go to that E drive using CMD. So what I will type E then colon press enter. Now, as you can see, I'm under E drive. If I'll press DIR command, as you can see currently under E drive, I, I have only one folder which is test. So if I'll go under E drive, as you can see, test folder is showing. Now I will make one directory means uh, folder, which is the command will be MD. Then my folder name, which is technology share. And after that, if I'll press enter, the uh, folder is created successfully. So I will check through DIR command, DIR, and after that, as you can see, the folder is showing over here under that directory. Now what I'll do is I will use a share command. So for that, I have to type net space share space, then folder name, which is technology share. You can also copy from here. And after that, equals to then your uh, drive uh, letter in my case it is e as you can see it is e so i'll type e uh, colon slash 
then my folder name which is technology share as you can see after that i have to uh, uh, press space then slash grant then colon then group name which is group one in my case then comma then full means full control okay now press one uh, sorry press enter so as you can see technology share was shared successfully now if i'll go to that folder properties let me show you and as you can see it is shared properly so now if i'll go to the security there is no uh, user and groups added over here so now what i have to do is i just need to type the command is called icac ls space under quotation or type the folder location okay here is my under quotation e drive then technology and after that space then slash grant then space then group name which is group one then colon under brackets i have to type o o i then bracket close again bracket c i then bracket close then f then slash t I C A C L S Windows command line tool to view and modify file and folder permissions. And E colon slash technology share is my share folder location. And after the slash grant. And then group one is my group name. And O I means object inherit the permission applied to files within the folder. C I means container inherit the permission applied to subfolder within the folder f means full control the specified groups gets full permission read write modify delete in my case it is group 1 and slash t apply the permission to change all subfolders and files now press enter now as you can see successfully proceed one file failed processing zero files so now if i'll go to properties and security as you can see group one is added successfully so now if i we'll type net share as you can see technology share folder is showing so now i'll try to access that folder from different machine on my network and now i'll try to access that shared folder from different machine on my network so I will directly go to my file explorer and click on this three dot button. And after that, I will click on map network drive. After that, I will type the fold folder on folder. I have to type double slash then the IP address of my shared folder machine which is 192.129. And then I will click on browse. Now simply click on this expand button and it will pop up a password screen username password in my case username is user1 and password is 123 i will click on ok now as you can see technology share folder is showing simply i will click on that shared folder and click on ok now click on finish now as you can see the share folder is showing uh, on my uh, my computer as you can see so if i'll try to create a folder is creating successfully and now i'll show you guys a view session and view file open by user so for that simply you need to go to your start window type cmd and open command prompt now you need to type from your file server machine you need to type net session so i just need to open with my administrative account so simply open right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator after the type net session okay now press enter now as you can see one user is connected the ip address you can see the computer name now if i'll type the command is called net files and through this command you can view file open by your user okay so before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, 
please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.